Welcome back, folks. Uh, in the last, right, in the last part, right, uh, what we have did is we have created the EC2 instances for the intra-region VPC. What exactly I did? I created two machines in uh, in the green VPC as well as the orange VPC, and uh, these are the two machines. One is a green machine and one is the orange machine. Now we need to establish a VPC peering between the green as well as uh, the orange VPC peering to make sure that these two uh, machines should reach to each other. So like ping. Uh, green server you can see the IP address is resolving if I type enter right it is going for 10 1 100 similarly if I go here and type ping uh, or in server and you can see they are able to resolve the IPs because we because we have uh, added in the host names but they can't reachable to each other that is a point right uh, in two different VPCs right then the two different VPC is a logical boundary so obviously the resources in in the between two different VPCs cannot communicate with each other so let's create that VPC peering okay so how we are going to do that so I'm going to go here and I'm going to open something go to the VPC in the VPCs you see something called as VPC peerings under the virtual private cloud right virtual private cloud you see VPC peerings and I'm going to open that as a new window now what exactly we am going to do? I am going to establish a communication between green VPC and uh, the orange VPC. So let us do that. So by end of this class, right, I should be able to see the communication. I mean the ping is happening between these two servers. That is what the expectation, right? Okay. So you see create VPC, uh, sorry, create peering connection is there. Now I am going to select create peering connection and I'm going to give a name I'm going to give a name as green to orange peering you can give any name you like but I'm just trying to give some meaningful name yeah so who is the requester see even if you can give whatever the name you want you can select uh, a green here and uh, orange here doesn't matter but what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the requester is green VPC once you select right the cider range will be showing I mean the IP address space will be visible here once I go down you have different choices either you can do the VPC peering between in your account or different account and in this region and different region so the different region will look after later so right now I'm going to select my account in another account we'll do it later not right now so I'm going to select my account and I'm going to select this region which is US East one and in the drop down I should see my orange now if you remember I clearly told some rules while deploying the VPCs one of the rules is uh, let, let me do something here if you go to the April here right uh, let me do something okay so if you see April here April is also having so April VPC is also having same the IP address range as a green VPC I clearly mentioned to you if you want to establish a VPC peering you need to make sure that you should have a different VPC address range so is it really true do you get really the errors let's check it out okay what I try to do is I'm going to select the green VPC which is if you come here I'm going to select the green VPC underneath right you have uh, my account and in the my account I have the same region and I'm going to select the April VPC if I select the April VPC just for testing it is showing the address range 10.1 as well as 10.2 uh, let me refresh it should not show this 10.2 let me refresh once because I have just changed the I have removed that address range actually okay so let's do it again so let me check it out if it is still showing the sorry still showing two IPs so if I go to April no it's just showing one okay so I'm going to select uh, orange sorry green to if I give green to April just some name anyway I'm going to get error here I'm going to select the green and it is showing 10.1 range and in my account in this region I'm going to select the April VPC which is having the same IP address if you see if I try to create a VPC peer connection right you see this is the error you're going to get a peering connection cannot be created between two VPCs that has overlapping ciders please select two VPCs with a distinct ciders now 
a few years back right uh, there is one problem with the VPC that is once you create the IP range of a VPC you can't really edit it even that is the same case right now so even if you create once a VPC was been created you can't really change the IP address but what you can do is this used to be a problem earlier but what you can do is you can add extra CIDR range like I can go here so edit CIDRs and I'm going to give something like this I'm going to give 10.10.0.0 slash 16 if you see 10.10 .10 is completely different see 10.10 .10 is completely different from 10.1 right now we can say green VPC is 10.1 but still the April VPC has 10.10 .10 as well so 10.10 .10 as well so now can we create sorry can we create the VPC peering because I have a different different range still it won't work but let me see if I go here peering connections create a peering connection I'm just give some dummy name here I'm going to select the green VPC okay and I'm going to select the April VPC and you see there are two different even this one overlaps but this is a different cider but still if you are trying to create a VPC peer connection see this one okay so people might ask you in interview or some people might ask you in uh, when you are attending interview or in some meetings or something if I have a different cider for a VPC does it allow you but still you have the same one one more cider is still the same so it doesn't matter how many ciders you have here how many IP address, you, IP address ranges you have but none of the IP range should overlap with the other VPC that is the rule here if you do like that then you still get the error so simply putting so none of the VPC ranges between the two VPCs should be overlapping with each other so I just want to show you it won't work like that okay right now let's go ahead and create the the actual peering between the green VPC as well as the orange VPC okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to create a VPC peering and I'm going to name this as green to orange peering and I'm going to select the green one I'm going to come down I'm going to create the orange one you see the IP address are different 10.1 and 172 and 16 right now let's create a peering connection okay right so if you see it is it is created but it is still in the pending acceptance so what I'm supposed to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to accept this request once you accept it then the VPC peering will go live so I'm going to click on accept and uh, if you see now the VPC peering is active if you see it's active now if I go back and check it out still they are not able to reach each other okay if you check it out but but the, if you see the VPC peering is active and they should be able to talk to each other right now this is because the traffic is not reaching to it's not able to go to each other why this is happening so this is happening because we need to add the routing actually we need to change the routing we need to make the VPC no uh, VPC understand how exactly uh, the green VPC should go to orange VPC right now what exactly is happening is every VPC will have a internet gateway right we studied that so similar way every VPC will have the gateway similar like this okay like this now I'm going to name this as internet gateway internet gateway and internet gateway I can show you actually right what exactly I'm talking about here uh, what I'm talking about here if you go here I'm going to talking about internet gateways here so you have like one gateway for your uh, uh, this is green actually so why I have the internet gateways with a different name 
orange VPC. Let me change this to because this is the old one which I am using. I am going to orange VPC and this is green VPC actually. Anyway, because I was using the existing one, that's why that there is a difference. Now, these are the two VPC gate uh, internet gateways which are attached to the VPC. Now, what exactly is happening is now this is what happening when when the green server okay when the green server want to reach to the orange server it is pinging right instead of coming the traffic like this the traffic is actually going towards like this because why exactly this is happening this is happening because here because of the routing table because of the routing table so if I go here and where is the routing table I think this is the one uh, our green VPC and uh, so let me green main routing table this is a green routing table and if you see the routes right apart from 10.1 remaining all the traffic is actually going to internet gateway so when the server is pinging 172.16 right so obviously apart from 10.1 everything should go to internet gateway instead of coming here it is actually going this side same with the orange server as well if you check the orange server right uh, the routing table of orange right if I go back um, it should be here actually so if I go to subnets yeah so oh no not this one I think where is it should be the orange VPC so am I using a different VPC no this is this is the one yeah so I'm going to subnets and uh, routes yeah I'm going to name it as orange routing table main okay so if you see here so don't worry about this black holes and everything let me remote clean it up okay now if you see what will happen is apart from 172 right everything goes for internet gateway so that is that is happening here itself if the orange server is trying to reach the green server the traffic should go through the VPC peering instead of that one it is actually going to internet going to outside and packet is getting dropped that is the only reason right now both the servers these servers are not able to reach to each other so what exactly we need to do is we need to alter our routing in order to get this work let's do one thing in the next video what I'm going to tell you is how exactly you need to modify the routing tables I'll do one thing okay I'll do one thing I'm going to delete this peering I want to show you something so I'm going to delete this select it I'm going to delete this VPC peering and delete this okay let's do one thing let's meet up in the next video I'm going to explain why exactly I deleted this what exactly I want to show it to you okay thanks for watching guys let's meet up in the next video